Chuck Schumer just betrayed the entire Democratic primary field for one reason. Chuck Schumer is the most powerful Democrat in the U.S. Senate today, but he just made one move that betrayed the entire Democratic presidential primary field. And now, his whole party is on the verge of open revolts like never before. Chuck Schumer is looking to become one of the most important people in Washington, D.C. after the 2020 elections. He's trying to make sure that Democrats end up winning control of the Senate after losing seats in the 2018 elections. But as Schumer works to try and flip several states in next year's Senate elections, he's shoving a gigantic knife in the backs of Democrats across the country who are running for president. And it's all because of one massive political issue that could leave the Democratic Party divided as they head into the most important election cycle of the century. Many vulnerable Senate Democrats up for re-election in 2020 have rejected the polarizing Medicare for All proposals and instead pushed for expanding Obamacare through a public option, reports Breitbart. Senators Jan Shaheen, Democrat from New Hampshire, Doug Jones, Democrat from Alabama, and Gary Peters, Democrat from Michigan, all up for re-election in 2020, have shied away from Democrats' more radical Medicare for All and instead focused on a public health insurance option. All of these Democratic senators who are considered key allies of Schumer in the upper chamber of Congress are running away from one of the most important issues that the Democratic presidential primary fields are running on. At the same time that leading Democrats like Elizabeth Warren are pushing for a complete government takeover of health care, Democrats in D.C. are running away from it. And this could be a move that may lead to a civil war within the party in the long term. But while Democrats in Washington, led by Schumer, are abandoning the plans being pushed by their party's presidential candidates, Others, like Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, are inevitably going to be outraged over the fact that Democrats in D.C. don't have their back. This is a terrible position for Schumer to be in right before the 2020 elections, and he's trapped between two awful situations. Democrats need to take at least three seats to regain the Senate, while protecting battleground seats such as Senators Peters and Shaheen's. Republican strategists have already tried to tie vulnerable Democrat incumbents to Medicare for All. Recent polling shows that many battleground voters prefer lower health care over Medicare for All, which could suggest that backing Medicare for All could jeopardize their chances of taking back the Senate, concludes Breitbart. He can either lock arms with the toxic Democrats running for president, potentially endangering his plans to win control of the Senate in 2020, or he can abandon his fellow Democrats running for the White House and leave the party open to a fierce split right before the election. If Schumer makes the wrong move, he can either potentially guarantee President Donald Trump's re-election campaign, or he may be setting the stage for his own party to lose control of the Senate yet again in the 2020 elections. We will keep you up to date with any new developments in this ongoing story.